Being a musician is the single best thing I did in my life. I wanna share with you 10 tips that will help aspiring musician. Again, whether you wanna be a professional musician, which is in this side of the spectrum, or just a very serious hobbyist, or even just a hobbyist. So let's dive in. If we truly want to be a musician, we can get there, but there are a few things we need to take care of along the way. And one of the things, and maybe one of the most important things that I discovered is finding someone with better mental image than you. What I mean is pretty simple. Basically, finding someone, he or she, that knows the craft of whatever it is, guitar, piano, swimming, running, better than you. And you need to look at what they do. We learn by imitating, right? We are people, we learn a lot of crafts, but it's very important, especially when you do something that is so meaningful for you and for me, like music, to find basically guidance, find a teacher that you can follow. Now it can be online, it could be in person, it could be in your town, it could be anything that you'd like. Of course, YouTube has a lot to offer as well, but you know, I think finding somebody that you can interact, hopefully personally, on a weekly basis will help tremendously. Again, finding somebody that has a better mental image of the action and the stuff that you're trying to do than you. If this is helpful, please smash really hard the like button, maybe drop a comment and subscribe to the channel. It would really mean a lot. Thank you. All right, gear. So I have a lot of strong feelings about gear. People oftentimes, especially when they're beginning a new craft like guitar and music, they want all the gear in the world. Now, it's really not about the gear. This guitar, for example, I bought for $179 new. I tortured it and it sounds kind of nice. You can check it out, that video that I really tortured completely. But the point is like, you don't really need fancy gear to create. You can find a secondhand guitar for probably under $100 and get a long, long way with that instrument. Now, of course, if you have a lot of money and you have the resources, go ahead. But I think for a lot of us, we feel, at least that's how I felt when I started playing guitar, I have to have this guitar in order to sound good. And that's just not true unfair advantage. There is a really cool video by Ali Abdal talking about this interesting equation saying success equals work times luck times unfair advantage. Now, what is unfair advantage? I think, in my view, unfair advantage is something you own, you possess through life experiences, or maybe you were born with, but usually it's life experience. Maybe, again, you had the chance to be really, really good at time management. Now, that's a huge asset when you're trying to learn a craft like guitar or music. Or maybe you have an amazing visual memory. If you try and learn a piano, bass, guitar, drums, whatever it is, visual memory will help a lot. You just need to think what it is that you actually naturally have that you can then allocate into this process of learning the craft of an instrument. I made a mini lesson for you for free to understand and see how I take a simple idea and practice it. You can check it out here and just click it. It's free, it's yours. This one is a big one. Be patient and consistent. A lot of these things with guitar and music take time. Some of them take weeks, some months, and some even years, right? So I'm practicing every day for quite some years now and I learn a lot of things but there are also a lot of things I want to learn and the consistency and understanding that it's not a tomorrow kind of thing I'm not trying to say like oh I have to learn guitar for tomorrow it's actually more I want to be able to express what I want to do and if it takes another year or another two another five it's okay because I have the time to well I have infinite time to express what it is that I want to do and I think it's very relaxing for me to understand that these kind of like processes are sometimes long and that's okay. It's a part of life. Time management, that's a huge thing in the process of learning a craft. So first of all, we have to understand that we have the control over our own time. Maybe that's the only thing we have. And whether we want to be professional musician or a hobbyist and we want to play a few chords and sing, they're all fine, but understanding that we have the time and we just need to allocate it, maybe in a slightly different way. And I'll just ask the question, um, because I know a lot of people spend quite some time doing actions that they don't think about. Like for example, you can have a conversation, once you kind of draw it on a piece of paper and say like, oh, how do I map this week and how did I spend my time? All of a sudden you see somebody spent seven hours on Instagram scrolling or five hours watching TV. Now, it's fine, you can do whatever you want with your time and you can watch TV, but I'm here to help. So if you wanna allocate that time a little bit in a more organized way, you can say, well, I'm gonna 
you know, s scroll for an hour, maybe watch TV for half an hour, but then I still gain three hours or two hours of music time and practice where I assume that this is something you're very excited about and you just feel you don't have the time. So sometimes this time management concept really helped. Well, I'll be honest and say it really helped me just understanding what I want to do and how to break it down. Music is the art of listening and a lot of people I meet in different occasions tell me that they struggle with ear training, they struggle with rhythms and honestly this is one of the biggest subjects that people don't spend a lot of time on and they maybe the most important ones in this kind of process of learning an instrument and music. So I'm just saying that if you're serious about guitar and music, again, whether you want to just play some songs well or whether you want to be a full-time professional musician, allocating some of your time, maybe 25%, 20-25% of your time learning how to get better with your ears. That means transcribing music, learning music by ear, singing different exercises, different rhythmic exercises, that even the awareness awareness being like okay I want to listen and feel the pulse stronger this means that you will get stronger and allocating this time into uh, your practice will really help a lot to me music is a very social thing so basically playing with people is an essential part of the craft I'm saying it because I find people that tell me email me or something and say like hey man I'm trying to get better but I, I don't know what to do it's not really happening and they tell me their story and and it seems like they're practicing but they're actually not doing the craft right so we get good at what we do so if we want to be able to play with people in a band context we need to do that and that means that you need to make a decision with yourself and hit up your friend or you know go to some shows and start talking with people to meet other musicians so I would strongly recommend for any amateur slash serious and somebody that really wants to basically progress with their craft to be social right and hit up people and play with people because Again, it's a very social act and we learn a lot in the process of doing that. For me, oftentimes, I used to get very overwhelmed and it happens to me also these days. And what I do is I'm trying to write my practice schedule for the week and sometimes for the month. I'll try to understand what are the different exercises they I used to do from zero to now and what are the exercises that I truly feel with um, you know some clarity of thought that would be helpful and beneficial for me to improve and then I say okay I have two hours or four hours a day that I want to practice and these are the things that I'm going to do and then by writing these exercises and making some sort of schedule for myself I can see that I'm going from point A to point B and of course sometimes I'll play an exercise and it's really hard and it takes a little longer sometimes I get better in an exercise and then it kind of plateaus and then that means I need to move on not do the same exercise again and again but try to practice in a way that I'm learning music all the time and changing the angle and kind of attention to the music believing I think as musicians uh, we have a lot of ups and downs uh, the apps are great and it's amazing experience to play with people and to experience this this energy of, of music and the downs are pretty low as well I think um, it's not easy at times uh, from different aspects of course financially as well musicians struggle oftentimes it's not like we have a paycheck so it's different aspects of life are more complex but I think and I really believe in that is that if we believe and see this kind of plan and again it works both for the amateur or you know more beginner and kind of like toured very very professional I mean also to uh, very professional musician the idea of believing and trying to imagine how things can be really seeing the dream in, in a way and imagining and allowing this this thing to happen again this is very emotional maybe but just like you know not um, trying to not consume ourselves with doubts and not spending energy and time saying the negative stuff to ourselves again and again but saying you know once it starts to happen and it happens to me it happens to everybody I believe once that starts happening you just say stop it this is not what I want to use my energy and time on I want to think about the music I want to do the things that I love and I want to think about it in a very positive way. Of course, it is not easy, it's a goal, but I think we can stop our train of thought and say like, um, allocating a lot of energy and time thinking about bad stuff that can happen 
and this is not what I want to do. This is not what I want to be, quote unquote. So that's important and we have the ability to edit. So to summarize that point, I would say believing in this positive word that, that can be and is happening. Um, thank you so much. I hope this was interesting and helpful. Uh, I'll see you guys very soon and I appreciate you hanging out here. Peace.